Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very exciting video. Da, 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 da. Fenty Beauty. First impressions <laughs> coming your way. Um, so I got this in the mail this morning, literally this morning. Um, Fenty Beauty gifted me this little set as PR, um, but it includes their new Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer and also the Pro Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powders. Um, so I thought I would do a first impressions because I haven't done one in a long time. Those of you who, who have, been, have been following my vlogs know that my house was very dirty and I had like my PR boxes all built up so I wasn't able to get to like the new stuff very quickly. Um, but now everything's pretty much cleaned up as far as the boxes go. Still needs some work on the makeup room. But the boxes themselves are Bonito. So because of that, now the incoming packages I can like open up right away and get to right away and do more first impressions because I know you guys used to like those um, from me. So hopefully I can get back into them. Um, so for today, I'm going to be doing a wear test. So I'll take you guys out and about with me later um, wearing the new concealer. I'm really, really excited to try this concealer though because it is supposed to be sweat proof, full coverage, crease proof. What else did it say? I was reading this little pamphlet that um, the PR box came with. 50 shades, they did that, yes honey. Um, so it's supposed to be great for dark circles, blemishes, bad decisions, and it's, like I said, full coverage, long wear, sweat resistant, crease proof, and what I thought was cool was each shade of the concealer is actually meant to complement the corresponding foundation shade. So 290 in the foundation is meant to complement um, the new concealer shade 290 not match. So like they're not the exact same shade. It, the concealer is probably gonna be like a little bit lighter so that it actually complements the foundation shade that you already have. So I thought that was cool because it makes shade matching really easy. They also extended the shade range for the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So now there's 50 shades. They included 10 more shades. I think there's 40 before, so 10 new ones. Um, and then they also have eight different shades of the Instant Retouch Setting Powder that is supposed to smooth matte brighten and set your Fenty face to last longer with no flashback. So we'll, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should like test the flashback as well. So we'll see. Um, and then they also included a powder puff setting brush and then a couple different makeup sponges to apply. So get excited if you guys want to see my first impression on this new launch from Fenty. Um, I'm gonna, I don't even know honestly what shade I'm gonna be of this concealer because I'm quite pale right now. Um, and the last time that I tried Fenty foundation, I was a lot more tan than I am now. Um, and I tried this a long time ago and to be completely honest, I personally didn't love how it sat on my skin, but I'm gonna try it out again today just because um, my skin has changed a bit. It's been a long time since I tried out this foundation. So I wanna try it out again just to see one, how the concealer and the foundation work together like as one in case you guys already like the Fenty foundation, if it works for your skin, um, I wanna see how the concealer lays on top of it. But also just because I haven't personally even tried it for so long and the last time I did, it was so long ago that like honestly, I think my skin has changed since then. So we're gonna try these out, but again, don't know the shade. The ones that they sent me are 260, 270, 280, and 290. So maybe I'll do some swatches on the screen right here so you guys can see the concealer shades and then also see the foundation shades that are corresponding to the concealer so that you can see the shade match or the shade complementation. Okay, so I think for today, I'm gonna try out the shade 280 just to see if it matches. Hopefully it does. Primed my skin with my um, just my normal primer cocktail here, but already I feel like this is laying a lot better than it did, like from what I remembered last time. I don't know, I feel like my skin changes depending on what skincare I use, and honestly, at that time, my skin care was just like I don't think it was doing what it was meant to be doing, is actually making my skin a lot worse, and I was picking my face a lot at that time. So just going in and blending that in and pressing it into the skin with the Precision Makeup Sponge. I don't think I've ever used this, but it feels really nice. It's very spongy, very like bouncy. They also sent the Lil, literally spelled L-I-L, Lil Precision Makeup Sponge Duo. So these guys look a little different than the big guy, than the mama. Wow. Why did this not work for me last time? I don't know. I'm like not one to fall for a lot of hype though, honestly. Like, 
you know, everybody and their mother talks about this uh, foundation. And because the first few times that I tried it, it wasn't working for me, I was just kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. But I do like the way it's looking so far. Now that I used it again, what I probably did wrong last time is use too much because you really don't need much and it goes a long way. But now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. So this is 280, the matching or correlating shade with the foundation that I used. So we will see how it looks. I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes, obviously, to brighten everything up. I'm gonna pull my mirror in here. <laughs> I usually go down the center like this. And usually what I'll do is go in and blend that part out first. Ooh. I like the way that it complements that foundation shade that we used. Very brightening, but still natural. Ooh, I like that. This eye, like my right eye, is a lot, it has a bigger divot in it than this eye. <laughs> um, but I do like the way that that concealer is sitting so far. Um, I'm gonna go in with a second layer because that's what I normally do in like my normal routine. I'll go in right towards the middle as like a brightener. Then I'll go in and actually go in and highlight and do the middle of the face. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the little precision sponge, the one that's a bit more rounded, I guess you could say. And just blend it in. Love that, look at that, even the little, uh, divot under my eye is pretty much covered just from that and when we go back in and set it um, Usually that's when it like You know really starts to look better, but I really really like the actual like color match of the Concealer and foundation. It's probably gonna be so much easier for you guys to find like your correct match if you do um, Already wear like the Fenty foundation you can easily find a good concealer match and then obviously if you want it to be even more brightening, like if you want it to be a little lighter, then you could go one step lighter. If you want it to be a little bit more on the natural side and you want it, the concealer underneath the eyes to be darker, then you could always go one darker. But like I thought that, I mean I think, not that I thought, but I thought I think that's really cool. Yeah, ooh, wow. This is re really impressing me so far. I mean, we'll see with the, um, with the wear test, like how it wears. So now I'm gonna go to the setting powder. They did send two different shades out of the eight for me to try. So I got cashew as the first one. Um, and then also they sent banana. So I think I'll probably use banana. Um, I do love a good yellow undertone setting powder. So I'm gonna use that with the Little Precision Duo, the one that's shaped more like flat on the ends because this one is supposed to be great for setting underneath the eyes. That's what it said on the box at least. the shape of it, but I do like the the texture of it. I think I might actually try this side just to see, because I feel like it might be easier to get into that inner corner. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They also included um, a brush. This is the Powder Puff 170 setting brush. So I think I'm gonna use this to just set the rest of the face really lightly and then later I'll use it to wipe away the baking powder. I do like that this powder is um, a little thicker milled, if that makes sense. So it sticks together and it sticks on your face really well so you can get that nice bake going. One of my, my biggest pet peeves is when powders are too thin, um, at least for baking powders, uh, and they don't stick on the skin very well. So I do like that about this right, right off the bat, um, that it really is like sticking together. I can feel it baking. I can feel it getting that armor going to really set the makeup in place. All right, so while I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera and also my eyes, and then I'll be back. I'll be back. Twenty nine. Boom, 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 boom. 
I'm gonna check in through the day, let you guys know how the concealer and the powder, basically the foundation at that point too, is wearing through the day. If it's creasing, if it's staying in place, I'm not gonna be touching up at all, so I'll tell you guys if it's like starting to get oily or just starting to wear off and get cakey or dry or gross or whatever, if it's changing from basically how it looks right now. I do really like how this combo looks right now, the foundation, the concealer, and the powder actually, the face makeup in general, I feel like it looks very flawless, full coverage, boom, bada, bing. Just how we like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so fast forward a couple hours. I'll check in right now. All right, guys, check in number one. It's actually very cold and rainy today in LA, but it is almost, woo, can you see that? It's almost 4.30. Um, so I thought I would do a little check in because it's been almost two hours since I first applied and I really don't see any difference um, on my makeup. I was just looking in the car. And you know car mirrors, honestly, they always make you look a lot worse than you think you look. So if a car mirror even is looking good, we're on the right track here. Um, it feels very lightweight still. It doesn't feel like it's like caking up or dry underneath the eyes at all. And it doesn't look like it's creasing at all. So that's our two hour check-in right there. Um, we'll see how it keeps wearing, but I have very high hopes because not creasing, not wearing off, not getting dry, not getting cakey not getting splotchy and it still feels very like lightweight but we still have the full coverage going it covered pretty much everything that i needed to cover not pretty much it literally covered everything that i needed to cover so boom also i forgot to add that i did do some flash photos just so that we could see if it does have flashback or not to do like a little flash test so i'll put the photos right here but you can see it really did not it didn't have bad flashback underneath the eyes we all know what that looks like when it's like very white under here so we were very good on that front as well so again super duper impressed so far yes 727 now and honestly the makeup is still looking really good i haven't touched up at all like i haven't added any powder um i got a little bit oily in the t-zone but i didn't bake there today i only did like a little bit of powder with the brush my bags are still covered not really getting much creasing under there and it seems to be quite resistant to everything <laughs> i walked by the mirror a couple hours ago and i was like dang it really is like staying on my face and five hours later that's like pretty good so far so that's the check-in i just had dinner pasta proof <laughs> end of the day i don't know how i got so tired boom 10 37 i already fell asleep not gonna lie and i woke up 10 this video because i had to end it um but the makeup honestly bulletproof end of end of my conclusion <laughs> um pretty bulletproof especially underneath the eyes like the makeup really didn't move at all i don't really have creasing it stayed on all day eight hours now that I've been wearing it pretty crazy I'm very very impressed we'll definitely keep trying it out we'll definitely keep wearing it honestly even the foundation itself like dang okay um yeah it's really has stayed on even with me literally falling asleep in it and just waking up to end this video so very very impressed not sure how I got so tired all of a sudden hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it um really just speaks for itself i mean wow <laughs> i give it an a plus crease proof yes smudge proof yes long wearing yes full coverage all day long eight hours a plus for that so hopefully you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe if you do comment down below if there's any new like upcoming launches you guys want me to do first impressions with since now i'm organized and i'm going to be much more on top of my new products coming in so let me know what you guys want to see and as always you are beautiful inside and out love you guys so much and i will see you next time